Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. COVID-19 can cause cardiac issues in the general population, but what we don't know as well is how that affects athletes. With the NBA season restarting, football, soccer in the midst of their season, along with some high profile cases, for example, Paul Pogba speaking recently on how COVID-19 affected his return to play. Florida Gator college basketball player Keontae Johnson collapsing and that potentially being linked to COVID-19, although we're still not sure on that. That's created a higher profile for whether COVID-19 does affect the heart, specifically if it causes myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. To get a deeper understanding of that answer, I spoke to a leading sports cardiologist on what we currently do and don't know about how COVID-19 affects the athlete's heart. The first thing I was told is that from a clinical perspective, athletes are separated into two groups of those who have had COVID-19. The first is the mild or asymptomatic group in which there's a very low prevalence of any cardiac issues. In these cases, the athletes don't have further cardiac testing and they're returned to play according to the COVID-19 athlete guidelines, which is to not train during the acute illness or during quarantine and then have a graduated return to play process. The other group are those athletes suffering from persistent symptoms, which can be a plethora of things. And then these athletes go through follow-up cardiac testing and personalized care based on their specific symptoms. The good news here is that there's also a very low prevalence here for serious cardiovascular issues such as myocarditis or pulmonary embolism. In most cases, the symptoms here are typically from mild reactive airway issues and also from autonomic dysfunction. The second major question discussed was whether we know if there's increased risk for athletes to suffer from cardiac issues. Currently, we don't know because most of the research studies that have looked at MRIs of athlete hearts and found abnormal findings, there's no real reference point for that because prior to this, there haven't been large scale studies done on what an athlete's heart looks like. So it's hard to say what is normal or abnormal amongst the athletic population. Secondly, in many of those studies, there also weren't other symptoms which are clinically used to diagnose myocarditis. So the question becomes, is this actually myocarditis or is this something that's just less specific that occurs after a viral illness in athletes that we didn't know before because we simply weren't doing imaging on athletes before. So overall, the sports cardiologist reinforced that currently we need a balanced approach in terms of having precautions because we don't know all the risks, but overall, it does seem that individuals who are younger and athletes don't have very serious issues from COVID-19 from a cardiac perspective, but the sports medicine and cardiovascular community will continue to optimize treatments to figure out which athletes may have a higher or lower risk and then individualized care from there.